This is an update to my previous video. I showed you how to put the springs on this tipper truck from Legendary. <clears throat> it worked pretty good. The suspension moves up and down like you want it to. Even with the back axle on the ground so it travels on the dirt better. The other update I did is I took a Dremel tool and I cut slots in the tire. I uh, tried to be around every quarter of an inch. It was super monotonous and tedious. It took quite a while to do. Between that upgrade and opening the cab up and taking half of the weight out of the front, there's steel bars in it. I have them somewhere. Anyway, there's steel, four steel bars in it. You need to take two of them out. It's too heavy. So, if you take the two steel bars out of the front, uh, cut the tires, put the spring mod that I showed you in the previous video, and add about four ounces to the back. This thing will go in the dirt like it should. Otherwise, you ain't gonna leave the pavement with it. Uh, but what I ultimately did with it, because I didn't want, I didn't like the non-proportional throttle control and steering. So if I was gonna put a speed controller and a radio in a truck, then I was gonna do it to the Diecast Master Western Star, which I did. So then I decided to cut this truck in half, cut the cab off of it, and make a trailer out of it to attach to the Western Star. And I made a mount for it so I can just screw it onto it and make it a puffing truck. So what I did is I just took the receiver board and shoved it in there, closed it all up, the lights in the back work. I got to use the separate radio to raise it up and down, but I don't care. I ain't buying a more expensive radio just to not have to do that. But anyway, I made a trailer out of it. So it's now a pup and truck combination. It works pretty good. Um, but if you're going to keep it as a tipper, a uh, legendary tipper truck and you take half the weight out of the front cut the tires put the springs on it and you're good to go it should work a lot better after that thanks a lot we'll see you later